Hi, I'm Jason Barrett. I'm the Vice President of B&B Group uh, and the brand Pool Candy. I'm here to demonstrate and show you some about the motor for the Splash Runner motorized pool lifters. Very simple setup, so I'll show you that first. There's just a few parts. It's a battery compartment, the propeller itself, and the joystick and a screw cap. I've got some batteries here. I just want to drop them in to show you how easy that is. So you can see it takes six D cell batteries, and then I can close the compartment like so. Don't need any special tools. I just close it. There's a screw that pokes through, and I've got a screw cap here, and I can secure it just like that. So setup requires no tools. Uh, to demonstrate the motor itself, I'll just show you how that connects and then I'll show separately how it works in the raft itself. Um, so again, now we're down to these two parts. There's a battery compartment with the joystick and the motor itself with the propeller. Um, this is a simple electrical connection that's a waterproof connection. So I just insert like that. All of this stuff will insert into the sleeve that's in the motorized pool lounger into the splash runner uh, arm. And you can see just with the touch of a button, the motor's activated. And that's all there is to it. That's a 66 watt motor uh, and it will get the splash runner moving to around two miles an hour in a pool depending on the weight of the passenger. So just a real quick close-up view of the propeller. And again, that's a single touch of the button to control this motor separate from the other motor. And when there are two motors combined, that is what will control the splash runner and allow you to turn and drive all over the pool. Okay, so just really quickly want to show how this is assembled inside of the Splash Runner inflatable. Uh, I have both of the motors in here. There's a sleeve, a plastic sleeve. It's just a piece of plastic that inserts, and that is what allows the motor to fully rotate, as you can see, any direction freely. So we can just press and go. You never have to lift up off of the joystick. And when you control both motors at one time, that's how you achieve your directional control in any direction. So just a real quick demonstration of how to drive the Splash Runner. Right now these joysticks are oriented forward. So if I press both buttons, I'm gonna drive in the forward direction. I can immediately reverse by switching my propellers in the opposite direction. In those joysticks, I'll go backwards. I can even make it do a 360 degree turn by having one motor in the forward and the other propeller in the backward direction. And that will spin the whole inflatable. And then of course, otherwise I can just drive casually going forward or I can back into place however I want to. The raft is huge, has a cup holder for my drink, has plenty of space. I'm six foot three or 1.9 meters, holds up to 300 pounds and will take you anywhere you want to go in your swimming.